Sunday, October 18th, 2020. And for today, actually the last few days, I've been working on the sink, the faucet, and a little bit of cabinetry inside. So let's see where we are right now, or at least show where we are right now. Got the faucet installed. I don't have any of the plumbing underneath connected yet, but we've got this mounted really securely. Comes out there, pulls up to there. We've got our switch here for the center sprayer or the outside. Nice and useful. As far as the way this was installed, I went in a different direction than it usually is, is installed. When I was first putting this together, this was the bottom piece that would go around all the cabling and screw down and make that nice and tight. This is really flimsy stuff. And the flange that was on the top started tearing out. And these threads are pretty thin and these stripped out. So we had the choice of either trying to return it. This was a rather inexpensive faucet. It was about 28 bucks on eBay. And I like this part, but the hassle of returning it for the exchange amount and shipping and all that hassle didn't seem worth it. So we did a little bit of a reconfiguration here for the mount. In a lot of my other videos, I'm into CNC machines and I've built a fair amount of those. So what I did was I took some three quarter inch ply and I I think this is marine ply, so I don't see any voids in here. It's really strong stuff. And we see and seed a block with an opening that fit this really, really tightly. So this screws into this piece here. We actually cut threads with this into this. And then we did put some bolts here that'll hold this down nice and tight. And this isn't going anywhere. We've got about I don't know, two inches, two or three inches of threads on the bottom of this that screwed through this. And that took a lot of strength to screw that through. So I'm real comfortable with that. We've got two bolts here and I don't think that's going anywhere. The other thing about this sink is we're not gonna have hot and cold. We're just gonna have room temperature water. So I'm not too concerned about the hot and the cold sections on here. It's either gonna be on or off. For the drain, and this is not installed yet either. I'm still fleshing things out of where I want to put these. That just opens it up, and that goes down. We might cut that down. Still thinking about that. Something that I discovered over the last week or so, in the last video, I talked about using these Greenworks 40 volt batteries that came out of a lawnmower that had a blown control board. So the lawnmower is trash. But we've got a couple of these really good lithium ion 40 volt batteries and they've got the power meter in the side so we can on the fly keep track of how much juice is in here it's nothing new there but something i didn't know about is over the last week or so i had the led lights off so there was no apparent drain on the system drain on the battery but just having the drop down converter in line plugged in after about a week, this dropped to half charge. So this is pulling some power in a constant level, even if you're not pulling anything through it. So the way we're going to handle kind of our very basic, simple electronic system, power system in here, is we're going to have a couple switches. And one switch is going to be for the water pump, and the other is just going to be a total shutoff switch. So we can turn the power off of everything. We could certainly just slide that off. That would be fine. I think it'd be more fun to put some switches in. So I'll probably CNC another block or two, kind of like I did with this, and put those in somewhere so we've got sort of a control panel system in place. Another thing I was curious about was what this would look like in bed mode. So these are all the cushions that were from the camper from 1983, 1984. They're in a really good shape. And I cut a few support slats underneath it here just to see how this would look. And I think it looks pretty cool. So those two pieces used to be in the rear fold out, the rear slide out bed, and they fit perfectly there. As far as the length of this, it's kind of deceptive. This is six feet, one inch from the very edge to the edge here. So six feet, one inch that way. And then from the back to 
the spot here is about 40, 41 inches. If you take that off, you got a little bit more. So plenty for one, cozy for two. And I was pleasantly surprised how that set up and how that looked. And our system here, I still have to do all the connections through. The return for that pull down sprayer is nothing more than a weight. So that weight goes on to this right here and you can adjust this up and down for how far you want that to throw. How far you want to be able to put that sprayer out. For the 12 volt water system, this is a pump a buddy of mine sent me a couple years ago when we were using the camper as a pop-up and it worked great for sort of the little intermediate mod that I did on the camper at the time. There's a video of that tucked away from a couple years ago. But we're going to reuse this pump for our current system. And quite honestly, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Um, I've been sketching out some ideas and we're going to first take this off and go over and sit and look at all of our hoses and think a little bit. Our sink is going to be set up this way. It's pretty simple. This is for RV use, for recreational use. I usually show the way I do things, but this is not commercial grade, up to code, anything like that. This is just my tinkering around. Sometimes when I'm mocking up copper lines, I'll just tape them together just to see what I'm playing with and see what I need. So obviously the tape is not going to be in place when this is all sweated on, all soldered on. But these are supply lines for the faucet. Normally it would be hot and cold. Since we're using just one supply tank, we don't need to worry about that. We could cap off one side and just use one side. It's an option I've done that in the past. I think we'll probably just put these both together. This is what we'll get from our pump. Here's our little 12 volt pump. The water goes this way. So this comes out of the pump and goes into here, which will go to our faucet. This is our supply line for the pump. Water goes in, there's a pressure switch on there. So this is our supply, and the supply will come from our blue supply tank. The tank in the back is the tank that came with the camper, and we've actually used that just to collect gray water, dirty sink water. So we'll work in a trap probably, run that into there, and go from there. Mm -hmm. 